Hey, welcome back y'all. It's another exciting video. We are down in the basement today. We're gonna to be replacing the filter in this whole house water filter. I made a video about three months ago where I did the installation of this thing. I'll put a link to that video in the description. Today's the first time we're gonna be replacing this filter. So not really sure what we're doing, but we're gonna figure it out. This whole house water filter unit, it is a GE. I bought it from Home Depot. It is the model GXWH40L. Now, originally I bought a GE water filter and that is what is in there now. Uh, the GE filter I have in there right now is the uh, FXHTC. It was $30 for that one water filter. It has worked pretty good. I think, uh, you know, the first month or so, I felt like the water tasted a little better. Obviously, you can see how gross and brown it is now after three months. I feel like the water is not tasting as good as it was before. These water filters are pretty expensive, $30 each. So, of course, I checked out Amazon. These have really good reviews. I got a two-pack for $30. These are Pure Plus. It's got uh, five micron. It's the same as the GE filter. When I installed this filter, I put an extra shutoff right here. Now this goes up to my house. I got a two story house. Uh, this right here, this is the line where it comes into the house. So I wanted to be able to turn it off right here and shut off the entire house so the water doesn't backflow and fill up my basement. But I think for the first time, there is a shutoff valve on this water filter unit here. We're just gonna try to turn it off there and see if it actually works. The shutoff valve for this uh, GE unit is up here on the top. So we're gonna turn this thing off. And then you're supposed to hit this red pressure release valve, pressure release button. Okay. <laughs> that just sprayed me in the face there. All right, I guess that pressure's released. Okay, we're gonna give this a try. Hopefully we don't flood the basement. So I've got this little green bucket down here. Maybe it'll catch some water. So let's, let's see, I'm a little nervous. This thing is plastic and I do not wanna break it, so. Well, the water's not flowing out, so I guess the shutoff valve works. And uh, let's take a look at this thing. It is pretty gross. I'm gonna run upstairs to the kitchen. I'm supposed to wash this thing out with a mild detergent, so we're gonna use some Dawn dish liquid, clean this thing out. Okay, a couple things to talk about. I got this thing cleaned out. Sometimes we're stupid and we just get lucky. I thought I turned that unit off, ran upstairs to clean this out with water and the water came on. And then I realized, well, if you turn the water off, how are you gonna wash this out and clean it? But I guess I thought I turned it off. I actually put it on bypass mode. So at least I know bypass works. Now this thing is dripping a little bit. Let me put this thing down. So bypass is working and I was able to wash out my little container just like a dish is, <laughs> just like dishes. You put a little soap in there, swish it around, rinse it out. Uh, bypass mode is working on this thing, but I got this bucket here, you know, and it's, it's dripping just a little bit. So it doesn't completely shut off the water, but at least I know it works good enough for future use. Okay, another thing. In the installation video, you're supposed to put a food grade grease on this O-ring. 
I did not have any. And uh, I, I think I said in the installation video, oh, I'll make sure I get some before I replace the filter. Hey, guess what? I still don't have any, and I really needed to replace this filter. So I'm not gonna use any food grade grease on this O-ring. Uh, you should probably do that if you're gonna replace this filter. Here's my new filter, the Pure Plus. Make sure your little O-rings are on the top and bottom. We're gonna stick it back down in here. All right, we're gonna make sure your O-ring is on there because it fell out when I was washing this thing, but we're gonna twist this back together. Try to be pretty careful because this thing is, it's all plastic. I'm gonna try to get it hand tight. Got my big wrench that actually came with this unit. Gonna snug it down just a little bit. Try to be pretty careful, you know. I, I do not want to crack this unit. Okay, nervous. Let's turn this thing back on. I'm just gonna, gonna ease this switch on nice and slow. All right, the water's on. Now what I'm gonna do is just watch this thing for a couple of days because when I first installed it, I had to tighten this thing a couple times. You know, it would kind of drip around here. So I just kept snugging it down a little bit at a time, mainly because I don't wanna just crank on it and break it. So I'll just watch this thing, dry this off with a paper towel and then, you know, move my bucket. So if I see that the floor's wet and it's been dripping just a little bit, just keep snugging it down. I had to do that maybe two or three times a couple months ago when I installed it, and it never dripped again for the last three months. It's been about 10 minutes since we put that new water filter in. We're looking good so far. I don't see that thing dripping. Hopefully we won't need to tighten it anymore. Thanks for hanging out with me on another random project. Be sure to subscribe. I will see you soon.